Hey guys, welcome to another Fish Spotlight video. Today we're doing it on the Congo Tetra or the Phenacogrammus Interruptus, a very, very interesting Tetra that we are big favorites of ours here at Fluval Aquatics. Now, uh, the uh, Congo Tetra, obviously, by the name, you could tell it originates from Africa, from, and it does come from the central Congo Basin. A little bit about the Congo River. It is, in fact, a, uh, a river basin that uh, covers over 1.3 million square miles, so it's a monster. Uh, the Congo River is the second longest river in Africa, and it's the deepest river in the world. It's truly one of the most impressive uh, rivers on our planet, in fact. Now, given the length and journey that this river runs uh, throughout the Congo and uh, within Africa, the surrounding uh, environment uh, that it goes through obviously changes pretty significantly. Uh, there are parts of it that go through rainforest, uh, through and then through open cleared uh, areas as well, and even some kind of commercialized areas as well or inhabited areas. So the you know, the environment changes quite a bit on, on the river's course. Now, a little bit about the fish in terms of its behavior, size, comportment, and so forth. The Congo Teta is an active swimming fish. It's, uh, it's extremely peaceful, uh, great community fish, in fact, mixes well with a lot of other peaceful species. Uh, and in fact, you want to avoid uh, mixing fishes uh, with Congos uh, that are fin nippers because the males develop these beautiful filaments on their caudal fin and uh, it's a real temptation to any species that fin nip, so we would advise you not to mix any of them with the Congos. Males get actually quite large. They can get up to 3.6 inches long, a little bit more, a little bit less obviously, or about 9 centimeters at maximum. And females 5 to 6 uh, centimeters in length, about 2 two and a half inches in length. And that really kind of excludes the finnage and back. They'd be in fact longer, a large male with his uh, filaments included. Um, and top of that, the male actually develops a beautiful flowing dorsal fin as well. It's truly a showpiece fish. Uh, the coloration of the, especially the adult male Congo Tetra is a, is a very, very uh, beautiful one. In fact, it goes from a deep blue to a deep blue turquoise color with some green depending on how the light hits it. Uh, and it has a kind of a thick sparkling gold horizontal band uh, running its full length as well. Females are kind of a muted version of that. Um, and they of course have shortage fin, short, uh, shorter fins, uh, not quite as spectacular. Now, the Congo Tetra originating from the river it does is actually a pretty strong swimmer. Uh, it likes some current in the water. Uh, typical bog, uh, bogwood type setup with slower growing plants, amber stained water conditions, uh, low to medium light levels type of tank setup that you should be looking at. It does prefer softer, more acidic water. You don't have to go too far down the pH scale or make it too soft, but in general, that's the type of tank it uh, prefers. They like to be kept in schools, so you want to be looking at keeping, you know, a school of uh, say anywhere from six to ten adults. Uh, preferably house them in a four foot tank like a 50 gallon would make for a really nice display and as far as tetras go uh, these are larger tetra they make for a centerpiece on their own I mean a, a 50, uh, 50 gallon tank of four feet in length with a nice school of 10 developed uh, adult congos is actually quite a, uh, quite a sight now when it comes to feeding these fish uh, as fast as they are free uh, you know swimming wise they are really uh, very very quick at feeding as well they will rapidly eat uh, pellets flakes freeze-dried foods uh, they're really not fussy they do really well on a number of different foods uh, fluval bug bites of course sinking pellets are a great natural type food because of the uh, black soldier fly inclu inclusion of protein uh, uh, insect protein inclusion rate, great food to feed these f fish as well. Uh, and like most fish, you should be supplementing, preferably with a little bit of live if you can, and of course a variety of different frozen foods from time to time is always recommended. Now as far as the water conditions are concerned, you're talking about 23 to 27 degrees Celsius. 23 of course being a little bit on the low side, that's 74 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit. In a typical tank situation, you're looking at 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit as a, as a typical range. 
uh, meaning uh, somewhere like 25, 26 degrees Celsius. KH range between 2 and 10 degrees of uh, carbon and hardness and uh, you know typical range for aquarium, easy aquarium maintenance is about 4 to 6, you're still kind of soft and it makes pH a little bit more stable or supports a more stable pH. pH range of 6 to 7.5 and again typical aquarium type conditions will be 6.5 to 7 in the pH range. Clear to amber stained color water is definitely uh, very suitable for these fish and as I mentioned before uh, lower to mid light levels they don't uh, it's not a type of fish that really uh, appreciates really bright light. Uh, this has got to be, in summary, it's got to be really one of our favorite tetras in, in general across the board. Uh, they are a large tetra, very, very attractive. As I said, they make a great feature uh, on their own. You know, add to the fact that they're active uh, out in the open, in the middle of your aquarium, swimming about in schools. They're not a shy fish, not a type of fish that's going to hide. Uh, it's really a top favorite of ours here at Fluwell. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. And please, uh, you know, give us a like. Thanks a lot.